all right so guys we are here once again with another important tutorial where we are covering some more important commands so let us say we make some changes in a file and the changes are not yet staged that means they are still on the working directory we can use git difference to see the difference between working copy and local repository which we sometimes call as index let us say we have some source code files and I open this 2.txt and make some changes in there. If I check using git status, it will show me that one of the file is modified and the name of file is 2.txt. Now, if I do git difference and the name of file 2.txt, it shows me that there is a 2.txt and b 2.txt, right? It takes two references, one of the index, one of the working copy. And it tells me what all changes I have done earlier. It was hello, right? Now it is hello, Kamal. How are you? Right? So there is a minus sign in front of the previous text and plus sign in front of what changes you have made now. So this is how we can see the difference. Now, if I stage the changes, let's say if I do git add 2.txt and if I check using git status, now the changes have been staged. You can see these in green right so when the changes are on the staging and you try to do git difference and the file name you won't see any changes because that is to compare only the working copy and the index but when the changes are on staging and you still want to see the difference with the index for that we use git difference minus minus cached and then the name of file so again you see the same difference but now this time and the difference is between staging and the index. So if I do git reset minus minus hard, I'm again overwriting all the changes. Now uh, you can see all the changes that I have made were gone. So that is all about git difference. And next we'll talk about git remove. So for remove, we have rm and we have various options to remove the files one of the option is if we physically delete the file like this and then if i check using git status what actually i have done it shows me that you have deleted one of the files now again these changes are on the working copy you need to stage them by using git add and then you can take it further by committing it right there is a shortcut to this particular thing right if I do git reset minus minus r, that means I'm rolled, I'm rolling back all the changes and I'm again uh, uh, pointing to the index. So the uh, file 2.txt is back. Now if I do git rm 2.txt instead of uh, deleting the file and then committing it or uh, staging it, you can see it has automatically deleted the file as well and staged it. So two steps in one command. So that is a git remove. Let's say if your file is uh, not updated, not up to the mark, and the index is having some superior version, in that case, uh, it may give you some warning while deletion. So to avoid those warnings, um, you use forceful delete. For that, git rm minus f. Now, if I am rolling back all the changes, let's say. Right, so if I go back here in the folder, I will see that uh, 2.txt is back and the file is uh, as it was earlier. Now, what I'm doing is I'm making some changes in the file. Right, so working copy has a newer version. If I check using its status, it is having, uh, I mean, some changes, but the file on the index is. Uh, having the earlier copy older copy I mean my changes are not yet uh, taken right so if I do git rm minus minus cached 2.txt you will see that it will remove that file right but it won't be deleting it from the working copy right so it is showing deleted 2.txt and the change is staged but it is actually not deleting that copy which I am working on Right, so I can further um, add it and delete uh, and commit it. 
Now, if you want to delete all the files in a folder, so for that we have recursive deletion. So we can use git rm minus r and then folder path. It will delete all the files in that folder. So guys, that is all about git difference, git remove and git reset. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye till then.